I don't know why I'm so excited for a piece of cardboard, but I am, and I'm just gonna accept it at this point. <laughs> I'm losing it. I've been good. There's so many ponies here. I'm, I'm just delirious. I'm just so overly excited to have so many ponies. Everybody, it is after Christmas, or at least when you're watching this, it is after Christmas. Uh, and I hope that you had a wonderful holiday, whether you celebrate Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or any of the holidays, winter solstice, or if I, I hope you had a great Monday. I don't <laughs> um, but yeah, I am actually pre-recording this. Today is the 23rd? What's today? Hold on. Yeah, today's the 23rd. So tomorrow is Christmas Eve for me. Um, and I'm pre-recording this. This will go up later this week. Um, one of the days. I don't remember what day I'm going to schedule it for. But um, but anyway, yeah. So for me, Christmas hasn't happened yet. But I hope that you had a wonderful, wonderful holiday. Um, New Year's is coming. We are getting to the end of the year. And I'm... I don't know. I don't know how I feel. Like a lot of people are like, I'm ready for, you know, the new year, or like a new year to start and all this stuff. I'm like any stuff that happened like a couple weeks ago doesn't go away when the, the number turns over for the new year. So I don't know. That concept is kind of weird. Um, do you have any New Year's resolutions? Because I don't normally make resolutions because... I'll make a resolution and I'll think about it and then like I'll forget it like after a week. <laughs> so there's not really uh, any point for like a specific New Year's resolution for me personally, but I know a lot of people do that. So let me know in the comments if you like to make a New Year's resolution. So we are coming up on the end of the year. So this is the last week of 2023, at least for me. Um, like I, I think that is New Year's Day. I think New Year's Day is on a, on a Monday and New Year's Eve is on a Sunday. But um, I think that for this week, this might be the last video that I post this year. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to, what order these videos go up. Sometimes I like film a few videos and then like the order that I decide to post them kind of gets mixed up. So I don't know what that, what's going to happen with that. Um, but anyway, so this is one of the last couple videos of this year. So um, yeah, I mean, it's kind of, it, it's kind of exciting. It's kind of weird to think of. I don't know. You didn't come here to hear my brainstorming. You came here to see what you saw in the title, which is a huge eBay haul. Um, for me, it's primarily My Little Ponies. I do have one Barbie, one vintage Barbie that I want to show you guys. Um, but the rest of this, this is all vintage G1 My Little Pony. And um, I am so excited to get into these because I've been kind of just accumulating these for a while now and I've been waiting to just kind of make one big video um, just because like I haven't been buying a whole lot of new dolls for myself recently other than some of like the collector dolls that have come out because Monster High has been putting out some really beautiful collector dolls and then there's a few Disney dolls that I really enjoyed getting um, like the Radiance collection and stuff like that I really enjoyed but for the most part I've really been focusing on My Little Pony recently I don't know why I've just like really been hyper fixating and like really wanting to collect more vintage My Little Ponies and I can never find any at like thrift stores or flea markets. I just don't really have that much luck. So I turn to eBay, um, but I try and get good deals on like price wise. So I've been buying pony lots. So, you know, that way I'm getting multiple ponies in uh, one thing. Now, I don't remember all that I bought. I know of there's two specific ponies that are in here that um, I wanted specifically. So, and I, I think I bought the lot because it had that pony in it. Um, and then the other one, it, there's one in here, I think that's just a single pony that um, I bought that was not part of a lot. And that one I specifically picked out. The rest of them, I don't actually remember what is in here. So this is actually going to be kind of a surprise and it's going to be fun for me as well. So anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and get into these and I'm just going to start at the top I don't know some of these are already open because um, I've been doing like Christmas shopping online and stuff like that and I didn't know what was from Christmas shopping and what was from eBay necessarily so some of these are pre-opened just so I could see what's in it and then um, you know once I realized what it was I just put it down so I haven't even actually looked in these yet so anyway so we're gonna start with this bag because it's the first one that I grabbed 
and let's just go ahead and get into it. Cool. Okay, these are all individually wrapped, so this is going to be fun. Oh, I see some yellow hair. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, so here, this is a bonus pony that is missing an eye, didn't have the heart to throw her away. Okay, well, uh, oh, okay, well, um, <laughs> here is a uh, Betty by Eye Pony. This is technically my very first Betty by Eye Pony. And what's interesting is I think, I thought if this is a bonus pony, I don't know. Like, I don't know if this is the lot that I'm thinking of because there was a lot that had this exact pony in the picture. Um, so I don't know if this is it, but the, the note says that this is a bonus pony. So I don't know if there's another one. We'll see. I'm, as we're going through, that'll be funny if I end up, end up getting two of these. But um, I don't know. You know what? I don't know any of these ponies' names. I just realized um, this one has a, a bow tie. I don't know. Bow tie. I don't think this is bow tie. Bow tie is a blue pony with pink hair and has a bunch of bow ties. This one only has one bow tie for the symbol or for the cutie mark. So I'm not sure exactly who this is. Um, if the name is like ribbon or something like that, it sounds familiar. Um, anyway, this pony is actually in really good condition, except for the, the left Betty by eye is kind of, uh, she's kind of sad. She's kind of missing the pupil there. But um, you know what? I can customize the pony. Honestly, I have never collected any of the Betty by Eye ponies because they look creepy to me. I'm not a huge fan of the Betty by Eyes for ponies, um, but because it is official My Little Ponies and they're not like the fakies or the phony ponies um, or like the, you know, the My Little Pony clone toys that other companies tried to copy uh, Hasbro's product, you know, it is official. So like, I don't mind having it in my collection, but I just... I, I don't think I would ever go out of my way to buy these just because they are creepy looking. Um, but I don't know. I like the fact that I have it now, though, from just from, from a collector standpoint. So anyway, OK, let's move on because I have a lot of ponies to get through and I, I'm going to try not to talk too much about each individual one. Um, I'm not even going to look. I'm literally just going to grab the next pony that's in here. Oh, cute. OK, OK, I think. I think this is Twilight, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's this pony's name. Um, unfortunately, her symbol is kind of rubbed off. Um, I might be able to... Honestly, like, I know that most of these ponies in here are going to be... They're all used, obviously, and they're not all going to be in pristine condition. So I already have plans of cleaning them up anyway, um, but I might have to do some restoration on some of these. So I'm going to have to see if I can get some purple glittery paint and kind of repaint the, the symbols. For the most part, she's in really good condition. She's not, you know, I'm not seeing like any marks, any pony cancer dots or anything. There is a letter J written on the hoof here. Does this one have it also? Oh, this one has... Oh, it's upside down. Yeah, this one also has a J. So I'm thinking whoever owned these, uh, their initial must have been J. Um, but anyway, so yeah, this is Twilight. So uh, I don't think I'll, if, if there's any ponies that I already have or are a duplicate for me, then I will uh, point that out. But I think when I got these lots, I went for lots that were all ponies that I did not already have. There might be like one or maybe two duplicates total. Um, but I think one of the duplicates is literally two po two lots had the same pony, but we'll talk about that when we get to it. So let's see here. Oh, that's right. Okay. Okay. I remember looking at this lot now. So here is a butterscotch. So th this is one of the original My Little Ponies. And I'm not just talking about like the original six characters, because it is obviously one of the original six characters. But this is one of the very first ponies that came out. Yeah, 1982. And the reason I know that this is one of the first ones that came out is because of the flat feet. Flat so if you if you're not familiar with um, 80s My Little Pony collecting, um, if you look at the bottom of their feet, they have like this little dent 
right here, this little concave, they call it a concave foot, basically, but it's got like a little dip right here. Whereas if you look at this butterscotch, the yellow one, her feet are completely flat with no dip or dent in them. And they just have like the, the words and a circle printed on them. And that is a telltale sign that this is one of the earliest released My Little Ponies. Um, I don't know if it's like the very, very first wave or not. I don't know how to distinguish that specifically, but I can tell you that this is from the first year that they came out, like the very first ones that came out. So anyway, that's a little bit of pony history. Um, um, I'm actually really excited because this is my first butterscotch. Well, most most of these are my first anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for this. In fact, I think there might be another Flatfoot Pony in one of these lots. Not 100% sure about that. Um, but I, I don't know why. That kind of stuff usually doesn't like matter to me as much. But recently I've been being more of a collector nerd when it comes to vintage My Little Ponies. So, oh, here we go. Okay, so this is... Uh, majesty and this one is definitely going to need some restoration because uh, she is missing some hair plugs which is completely fine I am not upset about it um, her paint is in really good condition there is a few of these like pink spots I don't know how well you can see it but that over time does happen to vi like vintage 80s My Little Ponies. Um, it's something that ha it's an, something that happens to the plastic. I don't know exactly what it is. I used to think that it's like, you know, like I would see it on a lot of different ponies. I'm like, wow, a lot of people use pink highlighters on their ponies for some reason. But no, it actually is a natural occurring thing. And it's just an, an aging thing when it comes to the older My Little Ponies. Uh, so, and she has one on this side right there as well. I think that there is one more majesty in here. Um, so what I'm going to do once, once I get to the other one, that's one of the doubles I was talking about. I will get them both side by side, decide whichever one is in a better condition. And the one that's in better condition is the one that I will like clean up to uh, be in my collection. And the other one I'll probably use to custom or something like that or customize. I mean, but yeah, so that is majesty. They actually had a, um, a majesty that came out for San Diego Comic-Con that I would really like. It's an, it's a majesty like this, but the symbol, this little flower, I'm not sure what that is, is printed over the entire body and it looks really cool. I would love to get my hands on one of those, but it's really expensive now. Okay. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Oh, we've got a cotton candy. I think is this a, yes, this is cotton candy. Oh my gosh. I am slowly collecting all of the original My Little Pony characters. I'm so excited. Now, this one is not a flat foot. So um, this was the flat foot version of Butterscotch. This is a concave uh, version foot, whatever, concave foot um, of, of My Little Pony. Also marked 1982. So I think it's the same pony mold. But another thing you can notice is that the ones that have the concave feet, their feet are spaced further apart from each other, even though they're, they're basically the same pony pose. Um, the newer ones, they had made the, the feet a little further from each other. So to help with, you know, getting them to stand up. All right, let me go ahead and put this aside so yeah so from this lot we've got cotton candy majesty butterscotch and twilight and i believe this one's name is ribbon not 100 percent sure i will look up the name and i will put the name on the screen uh just so that way you know what it is <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and look at this one. Oh, this one is the barbie okay so next we're going to be looking at oh great I had really good lighting. The, it was overcast and everything. And of course I start filming and the sun starts poking through. Uh, we're just gonna do that and it's not gonna be as good of lighting, but that is okay. All right, so here we go. Okay, so this is, oh, I forgot the name of it. It is one of the Avon Barbies. Now I saw this Barbie in the box at the cave in Roseville. And I didn't get her at the time, but I went back to get her and she was gone. So somebody else had already bought her. So I, I missed my chance, but I kept thinking about her and I was kind of like obsessed. So I went 
on eBay and I found her for even cheaper, which is good because she's missing her shoes. But anyway, so I, I found her on eBay for much less expensive, or not much less, but it definitely, I saved some money not having her in the box. Um, but this is one of the Avon dolls. She's kind of a winter theme. I'm not exactly sure what the name is. I'll, I'll look it up and put the name on the screen somewhere. She is very pretty. The thing, the thing is, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the outfit. The reason I got her is because, first of all, I love her hair. I'm gonna have to fix it, but I love Barbies that have hair in a ponytail with bangs like this. It's just the quintessential 90s Barbie for me. Um, but the, the reason that I got her is because of her face screening. She is so pretty and I love the colors of her makeup. This is her and I'm probably gonna like customize her, put her on a made to move, not 100% sure just yet. Not gonna keep her in this dress though. Let's set her over here. Next up, we've got this bag. Now this one I was very easily able to tell what's in it, so I haven't opened it yet. So let's just go ahead and rip into it. Okay, so these ones are all in one plastic bag on the inside, so I'm just gonna rip into the bag so that way I can do the same thing and just grab one pony at a time and not look because that's fun. So I will get this one first. So this one, now I'm not 100% sure. Uh, this is in the collector pose. So just like the original ponies in that, in that same position or that same, same body mold that they use, they call it the collector pose. And I believe that this is one of the birth month or birth flower ponies. I am not 100% sure. This to me looks like a buttercup, I believe. I will have to look it up, or if anybody knows in the comment section, um, let me know if you happen to, to know any of the ponies that I'm not sure, any details, I'm, you know, like their name, or if you have any fun facts about them, let me know in the comments, because I always love learning more about the vintage My Little Ponies. Um, but anyway, so, all these ponies looked pretty much the same to my understanding. Uh, this one's from also from 1982, um, but they had like one for every month, if I'm not mistaken, and they were all pink, or I'm sorry, they were all white with pink hair, and the symbol was a flower, and it was whatever flower of like that birth month, I believe. Like I said, if I'm not mistaken, please, Correct me if I'm wrong, um, but they all basically look the same. They just have different uh, picture or symbols, like the different cutie marks. Now, this pony does seem to have some pony cancer, unfortunately. Uh, I believe that this is pony cancer, but it's these little dots here. And it's hard to tell, but basically that is not like, you can see how clean and crisp the paint is here and how this looks blurry. That's not a pen mark or a pen dot. That is like in the actual, embedded in the plastic itself. And I'm not 100% sure what that is. I believe that this happens when dirt or bacteria get into the pores of the vinyl of the pony's skin and it just basically kind of creates like a, almost like a mold in a way, but it's not like black mold or anything that you have to really be too worried about. I am going to thoroughly clean all of these ponies. Anytime I get a pony secondhand, I thoroughly deep clean them to make sure they are disinfected and, and uh, cleaned and stuff like that. Um, but this is something, unfortunately, this pony is going to have forever. I, I don't believe that there really is a cure for for pony cancer, unfortunately. Like, there's not really a way to get rid of these dots, um, unless if you paint over it, and I don't really want to do that. Uh, this is supposed to be a white pony, and she is kind of yellowed. Um, I have this version of Surprise. This is a reproduction. This is one of the basic fun reproduction ponies. But this is like a stark white color, and this is what a lot of the white ponies are supposed to look like. So when you put this next to it, and this is supposed to be a white pony as well, to my understanding, you can see how much she's yellowed over time. So um, I think what I might do is I might try retro brighting for the first time on this pony and um, maybe also Majesty and a few others that uh, are supposed to be lighter colors than they actually are. <laughs> um, I've never done it before, but um, I might give it a try for the first time with these ponies to try and clean them up. All right, so let me go ahead and grab the next pony out. Oh, <laughs> okay, so here is the other Majesty. So this one looks to have all of her hair plugs, but her symbol 
is kind of coming off, it looks like. Now, um, if I show you next, you can kind of see the difference, how, how much clearer this symbol is. So even though she has all of her hair plugs, this one looks to be in better condition, like it's brighter white, and the symbols and the paint is much crisp, much more crisp and clean. So I think this one is going to be my majesty. I'm just going to rehair this one. And then this one I'm probably going to keep and uh, use as a custom, like put it in my stock box, basically. Okay, majesty keeps wanting to fall over. So <laughs> I think I'm going to just let her sit there. Okay, there's two more ponies in here. Oh, cute. Okay, okay, okay. So this one, I did not know. Well, there's a lot of ponies I didn't know existed. But this one specifically, I have seen this pony and I always thought that it was Firefly until I looked closer and realized it does. she doesn't have lightning bolts for her symbol. She has little rubber ducks. So this, uh, is this Quackers? Oh no, hold on. I, I have to look this up. Hold on. Sprinkles? I guess this one is called Sprinkles. <laughs> I mean, I guess like Rainfall Sprinkles. Um, but yeah, so this pony um, looks very similar to Firefly. Firefly is a pink pony with blue hair in this same exact pony pose, but with blue lightning bolts. This is Sprinkles, and um, Sprinkles is also a pink pony, but the vinyl, like her body, is a much lighter color than Firefly. I think Fire Firefly is much more actual pink, and this is like a very faded pink color. All these are in decent condition. They just need to be cleaned up a little bit, but like I'm surprised. Uh, you know, like has all her hair, no cut hair. Um, um, you know, her paint all seems to be intact and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really happy to have these and she's really cute. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm so excited for this one. Uh, I'm genuinely really excited for this one because this is actually one of my childhood ponies. I had this pony when I was a kid and I have no idea what happened to her. I don't know what happened to any of my old My Little Ponies that I had when I was a kid. I probably played with them until they were like, I probably messed them up and then they got thrown away or donated or something. But anyway, so this one is, oh, I forgot the name. Is it Rain Curl or something? Hold on. Yes, Rain Curl is her name. Um, I don't know why I always thought that this, this pony was called Goldilocks. Maybe that's just what I called her. I had her when I was like, I'm guessing that I was probably like four years old when she, when I had her. But I did have this pony uh, when I was a kid, and um, I really liked this one. The only thing is her hair, like this is from the uh, Rainbow Curl collection, and the Rainbow Curl ponies all had very curly hair. And when I was a kid, I didn't know how to take care of my ponies. So any of the ponies that were like tic-tac-toe over here. This is one of the ones I had when I was a kid. Um, any of them that had straight hair like this, very easy. Very easy to take care of because the hair didn't really get messed up that much. Curly hair, however, I would brush it and it would get frizzy and then I wouldn't know how to fix it or take care of it. And I always ended up not liking those ponies as much because their hair got frizzy and I could never, like as a kid, as a four-year-old or a five-year-old, you don't know how to restore ponies. You don't know how to like fix their hair and stuff like that. Now that I'm an adult and you know, I've restored many dolls and ponies and stuff like that, I know how to do that. So, uh, and she's actually in really good condition, which I'm really excited for. Um, in fact, like a lot of her tail, the colors are still kind of separate in their curls. So um, separating them into each individual curls might not be that difficult, which I'm really excited for. She also comes with this little hair barrette or like little clip, hair clip that's like a bow. I don't know if this is My Little Pony or if this is just a general, like generic hair clip for little girls back in the day that somebody, you know, some little kid put this on their pony. I'm not sure. Um, if, if, if you recognize it, let me know if this is something from My Little Pony or, or not. But anyway, yeah, I'm so excited to have her again. That's one thing I'm trying to do as I'm collecting ponies, is I'm trying to get the ponies that I had when I was a kid. Um, because, like, that's my priority. And then from there, the rest of them are just, like, the ponies that I wanted when I was a kid. And then after that, there's so many ponies I didn't even know existed when I was a kid. So now I'm just kind of, like, in collector mode and uh, completionist. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next Next one, this next box here. Wait, what? 
Oh! <gasps> Oh my gosh! Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so some of these I pre-opened so that way I would have access to them easier, some of the boxes. So I opened this and I saw the paper that had like what listed on it, what was on it. So then I just closed it and I didn't look at it. Um, and I pulled this up and I was so confused for a second because this is Merry Treats. It is the Christmas pony, but she came with her back card. So back in the 80s, My Little Pony came on a card. In fact, let me, I'm going to see if I can find a picture and put the picture on the screen right here so you can see what ponies looked like on the card on the shelves. Because basically what I, what I remember for My Little Pony is it's this back card and then the pony would just be like sitting here like this with a plastic shell over just the pony. And I remember opening the ponies was so easy and everything, but I did not expect to get the back card for this pony. Now, this is a pony that I've wanted for quite a while, the, the Christmas one. I didn't know it existed when I was a kid, but later on as an a, adult collector, I saw pictures, other people had it and stuff like that. And I have really wanted this particular Christmas pony. I just assumed that she would be really expensive, but she's actually like, okay. Like, you know, you're able to find pretty decent prices for this particular Christmas pony. Let me, I'm gonna take her out of the bag so I can actually show you her. Okay, so she comes with a couple accessories. I'm gonna show her to you the way she was pictured in the listing so that way you could see what I bought. So this is what I saw in the listing with the hat and everything, but just in front of a white background. I did not know they were going to be including the back card along with the pony and this is cool. This is definitely a bonus for me. Um, I didn't I mean, it, it, it's not a deal breaker. It's not like I would have specifically chosen this pony over other listings just because it had the back card. Um, I chose this one because it was a good combination of price and um, condition because a lot of them were either more expensive or they were not in as good of condition. So I tried to get a good balance between the condition the pony was in and uh, like how clear the symbol was and how good the paint was and stuff. I should be able to fix this hair. The hair does not look like it's in bad condition. It's just braided and has these little baubles that I will take out, these little hair ties. But I will clean this pony up and make her look new again, <laughs> basically. But I'm so excited to have the little back card. I love that this is like a little bit of pony history here. So it says My Little Pony and it says Merry Treat up at the top. And um, this says Free Goldilocks Pony, free with two proofs of purchase plus a hundred, no, plus a dollar fifty postage and handling. Offer expires uh, March 31st, 1991, or while supplies last. Dang it. <laughs> We're just a little, a little past that expiration date. <laughs> Oh, but how cool would that have been to be able to get the uh, the Goldilocks pony? That's so funny that I was just saying that I, I, I thought this was Goldilocks for some reason. Um, and I think just that's what I named her because I was so young because uh, I didn't know any better, but I didn't know what her actual name was. But um, anyway, so this is what the Goldilocks pony actually looked like if you were interested or if you were curious. Um, but anyway, so then on the back, it's got this really pretty artwork of the pony in front of a Christmas tree. I, this is bringing back so much nostalgia. Like I didn't have this specific pony, but just seeing the card, having one in hand, I'm definitely keeping this. I'm not getting rid of it. That is so cute. I, I'm really excited. I don't know why I'm so excited for a piece of cardboard, but I am, and I'm just gonna accept it at this point. <laughs> now, she does come with uh, shoes and a hat. I don't collect the pony accessories like this. Like, I prefer just the ponies themselves. So I'm not a huge fan. Oh, ooh. Anyway, um, I'm not a huge fan of these little like pony shoes or when they wear clothes or anything like that. Um, I don't normally collect them. Um, what is going on here? Hold, I, I, <laughs> I'm taking these shoes off and she has a bunch of pink around her feet. And I don't know if this is, once again, I can't, I don't know if this is from highlighter or if it's the pony itself is changing color. And it's so weird that it's around the shoes. It kind of looks like wherever the shoes were like physically touching the pony that the plastic turned pink. That, so that's, that's actually kind of disappointing. 
but I mean, it, it is what it is. I, I'm not going to like complain too much because I did get a pretty decent price on this pony. Um, it's just kind of sad. Like, I don't, I don't like that. And maybe that's why she was wearing the shoes is like, I don't know. Um, I'll see what I can do. Once again, I don't know if you can get the pink out with retro brighting or not. I'm going to try and see if I can get rid of the pink. I know like the little pony cancer or like the little dark spots. I don't think you can get those out, but I think the pink you might be able to with retro brighting. I don't know. I'll have to try and we'll see what I can do. Um, but I should be able to, to, to get the hair. The, the hair feels nice, actually. So it, like I said, it's just braided. So anyway, I'm going to clean that up later. Okay, so it's in here. It's like in a bag like this. Um, I don't remember everything that I bought. So I'm just going to, or that was in the lot. So I'm just going to grab random ponies. But, oh, oh. <laughs> that was a great, great response. So I've got a masquerade. I don't remember if I already have Masquerade or not. I, I might I might already have a Masquerade. If not, I was planning on getting one. Um, but this one is in not not in the greatest condition. Um, she's got marks everywhere. Some of these marks look more like dirt. I don't think they're necessarily the pony cancer. Um, except for back here, this might be pen marks. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm gonna have to see if I can clean it. She is very dirty. <laughs> She is very, very dirty. Uh, she is also missing her tail. I th oh, you know what? This might be the bait lot. I think I bought one bait lot where they were specifically really low in price, but they were not in good condition. So these might all be custom ponies. I don't know. Or like my, my stock box, you know. Um, not 100% sure just yet, but I might have to clean this one up and see if I can find another mask. If I don't already have a masquerade in my collection, I might try and find another one that's in a better condition than this for my collection. And then this one I can add to my stock box and I can customize her into something else. Um, otherwise, Otherwise, I might also try and clean that one up and just see what I can get. Oh, we've got another Pegasus pony coming up. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, she's pretty. Okay, so I do already have this pony. Um, if you remember, there was a, a few videos ago, like a couple months ago, I did get a pony lot and there was like four ponies in it. And one of them actually was this pony. And I don't remember her name. I'll have to look it up, but this is actually one of the brush and grow ponies. So you're supposed to be able to like turn the head and the tail gets shorter. There you go. You can kind of see it. No, is it? I guess it's not really working. But anyway, uh, the tail starts to get shorter and then you can pull the tail out and it gets longer. So I guess it does work. So, you know, you can see the tail. It's kind of working. It's, it's the other one that I have works a little bit better. This one seems to be in slightly better condition as far as the hair goes. The other one, I'm going to have to definitely like fix the hair a little bit. This one's hair is a little bit nicer. She is a little dirtier, um, but the mechanism uh, isn't working as, as well as the other one. The other one works really well still. All right. So let's see who's next. Oh, I'm so excited for this one. Okay, okay, okay. I love these glitter ponies. I don't know why specifically. The glitter ponies I must have known about or had or seen or played with at a very specific time, like point in my childhood. I don't know. Because these hit the nostalgia area so much in my brain. Um, because when I see these ones, these ones give me a huge wave of nostalgia, even though I don't know if I actually owned any of the glitter ponies like this. Um, so these glitter ponies, they are like a translucent or, or kind of see-through um, vinyl material and it has glitter embedded in it. That's so funny. On the little viewfinder, she looks much more like orange for some reason in person she's very much purple she's like a purplish pink color maybe it's just because the plastic is kind of yellowed so i might have to do a little bit of retro brighting on her as well okay so there's two more ponies in here oh is this another brush and grow yeah, this is an OK, sorry about that. I don't know if it cut me off in the middle of what I was saying. Uh, I ran out of space on my memory card and I had to clear it out really quick. But anyway, so this is another one of the brush and grow ponies. This one is interesting because she has a little jewel on her head, whereas these ponies, I have two of this one now, <laughs> um, they do not have a jewel on their head. Um, they are in the same same pony pose. So they're like positioned the same way. Um, but let's see if her mechanism works. Oh, 
yeah oh well okay once again it kind of works but just not that great like you have to kind of go slow and it only does a little bit at, the, at a time but then you can pull it out so it only kind of goes in about that far um it's supposed to go in like much further to like that that point right there but it's not really working all that great all right so i think i only felt one more pony in here oh no there's two more ponies in here okay so let's see oh is this oh i forgot the name of this one is this moon dancer i think this one might be moon dancer um, I'm not 100% sure on that. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure on any of the details I'm giving you for any of these ponies. Uh, I'm just giving you like the little bit that I think I know. She is very yellowed and her, her legs are like kind of bent. I can tell she's like been in, in a store in storage or maybe a toy box or something or in the bag for quite a while. Cause her legs are kind of bent. Usually you can fix that by putting the pony in boiling water. Um, but it, then you also have to fix the hair again after the boiling water and all this, but, uh, the vinyl can like kind of go back to its original shape if you heat it up enough. Um, so I might try that. Definitely going to have to see about retro brighting cause she looks super yellow. Like look at her just next to glory. Lab, both of these are yellow. <laughs> I always like doing it next to this surprise because this surprise is just so bright white. Like you can see, yeah, she she straight up looks yellow. She looks peach. She looks like a peach color. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to see if I can retro bright her. And then let's see the last pony in here. Oh, I'm so I'm so happy to have this one. Okay, so this is another one of the twice as fancy ponies. Um, the twice as fancy ponies have the symbols that go all the way across their back, um, not just right here. I think I think this pony's name is up up and away because of the balloons but um yeah i really like the coloration of this one this bright like magenta color and then the light pink for the hair so pretty and then like i love the balloons i just really like the twice as fancy ponies i think that that's what it is i think the twice as fancy ponies um are just a, you know some of the designs where i happen to like all the ponies from the line um so i'm really excited to have more of them so uh and i've seen this one online for a while Oh, her her cheek is kind of I don't know if you can really see this her cheek is faded like it kind of looks like a reflection but really like and it kind of is a reflection but her face is like gray right there for some reason so I don't know if I can clean that off or what that is oh it's on both cheeks maybe that's just her blush <laughs> you know what I think her blush is supposed to be pink but because her body is such a dark pink that the pink they use for the blush is lighter than her body color so I think that that's why it looks a little funny anyway <laughs> all right no but I've I've had my eye on this pony for a while and I wanted to buy her by herself for a while um, I just never have so but now I have her it'll be really funny if I go and check my existing pony collection and there's a couple that I forgot that I have and like I probably already have her. I, if, <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if that happens because like I said, I've, I've wanted her for a while. So I may have bought her and just never done anything with her yet. And of course the sun has to be a meanie. Stop making my video lighting so bad. <laughs> it's always easier to film on an overcast day. Okay. So... I'm knocking things over. Anyway, so here is the last box. So I'm once again, I'm just going to leave the, the flaps up and I'm just going to grab one pony at a time. Oh, okay. This is a duplicate. I do actually have this pony already, uh, which is fine. I, uh, ponies, like dolls are one thing. And even with dolls, it's not that big of a deal because I can redress them or do something like put them in my stock box and customize them later. My little ponies, I genuinely don't mind having duplicates of if they are from the 80s, uh, the original G1 ponies. Um, and this is one of those cases where I do actually have this pony already. This pony's, pony's name, I believe, is Powder. Um, her symbol. Oh, wait, I thought she was a twice as fancy. No, I'm thinking of Milky Way. Milky Way looks very similar to this. And Milky Way uh, is purple with white hair, but her stripe in her hair is blue and has silver stars. This pony has silver snowflakes for her cutie mark. So here, you can actually see it a little better. There we go. Um, so this is not a twice as fancy pony. I don't, I think, 
I don't know exactly what set this is, but this is powder. I do already have this one, and it was because I was searching on eBay. And I remember getting her for $5, and I was like, sure, I'll, I'll go ahead and buy her. She reminds me of uh, Milky Way, and Milky Way is one of the ponies that I had when I was a kid. That's one of my childhood ponies that I really wanted to get. So um, I got this one just because I liked her, and she just happened to be included in this lot as well. So that's really cool. This is also, I think this is the last package. This is also the biggest package. So there's going to be the most ponies in this one. All right. So let's go ahead and grab the next one. Oh, okay. So this is another pony that I've wanted for a while and I'm so excited to have her now. So this is Dancing Butterflies. So this is another pony that has shoes and a little pony outfit. Uh, so I'm probably not going to be keeping her in this. I don't know what I'm going to do with the shoes, but it is a full set of five, five ponies don't have five feet. What? <laughs> four, just a, a set of four. I'm just really excited. So like I, I'm, I'm getting really excited and I, I, I get all mixed up anyway. So um, the little pony shoes she was wearing. Uh, and then she also has on a little pony outfit. And is this a hat? I think this is, this was on her ear. I think this is supposed to be a hat. Otherwise, it's probably supposed to be a purse and I feel silly. Okay, maybe it's supposed to be a purse. <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> Wait, I think, I think this is supposed to be a purse. And I, <laughs> anyway, okay. So I think this is her purse. I don't know, this could, maybe it's a, okay, let me know. Let me know if it's a hat or if it's a purse. I'm pretty sure it's probably a purse. Um, anyway, I'm going to take this off. So, um, once again, I, I don't know how to identify the pony accessories. I can figure out the ponies, but the pony accessories is something I'm just not very familiar with. So I don't know if this is my little pony or if this is a Barbie bag or something else. Uh, but she was wearing it. Oh, you know what? It goes with her outfit. So maybe this is a whole thing. So this is Miss Pony USA. She comes with like this little sash here. So we've got a little, a little pony sash here. And then she's got this actually quite pretty pony dress. But once again, I don't really care for the pony outfits as much. I prefer just having the ponies. Plus, I don't think that the, this pony came in this outfit. I think that this might have been like from a different pony or it could have even been like a fashion pack or something. It, this is definitely a pony dress because of the way it's shaped. But um, anytime I've ever seen Dancing Butterflies, she is just by herself. So we've got Dancing Butterflies and I've wanted this one for a while. In fact, I think I listed this on one of my videos where I talked about my grail dolls uh, and my grail ponies. I think I listed this as one of them. So, oh, I've got another one of the birth birthday ponies or whatever. So, uh, oh, where'd she go? There's a pile of ponies on my desk here. <laughs> Here we go. So this is the one that I showed you earlier. So here you can see it's another pony from the same line, I believe. And um, are they both from the same manufacturing or the same year? Yeah, same year, made in Hong Kong. Yep. They feel different. They feel like different, like she's more firm and she's a little more squishy. But anyway, so whereas this first one I got has like a, a buttercup, I believe is the flower. This one looks like a carnation, maybe. I'm not completely sure what flower that is. Um, but yeah, see how they're both, they're both white ponies with pink hair. Um, they were all basically the same, but just different flowers uh, printed for their cutie mark. All right, let's see what is next. Oh, okay. So this is another one. <laughs> so, so here's another one of these, um, but her symbol is actually green. So white pony, pink hair, but the, the, the symbol or the cutie mark is done in green paint instead of the pink paint. And uh, I'm not sure what kind of flower this is. Um, I know that in real life, the, the, the flower is like a purple color or like a light, like a blue. Uh, so I'm, I want to call them bluebells. I could be wrong, um, but I think they're really pretty flowers. But that's interesting. I thought that they were all done in pink. Is it the same year? Yeah. Eight, uh, 1982 Hong Kong. All right. So I don't know if this is a different set or different wave, or maybe just some of them were different colors then, I guess. All right. 
Let's see. Who is next? Oh, okay. Yay. Okay, I, I'm I'm slowly but surely getting all of the original ponies, the original characters. So this is Blossom, and she is not a flat foot pony. She is concave. Uh, feet, foot, footy, feet, whatever. <laughs> I'm losing it. I've been good. There's so many ponies here. I'm, I'm just delirious. I'm just so overly excited to have so many ponies. Anyway, so this is Blossom, one of the, the first six ponies. Um, not the very first release because she doesn't have the flat feet and doesn't have the counterweight in her backside here. Um, but she is a light purple with purple hair and the light purple... Uh, flowers for her cutie mark i'm starting to kind of like collect these are the these are the ones that i have from the first six so far um so eventually i hope to get the other ones as well uh because then there's um bluebell and M minty i have a minty reproduction because one of my subscribers sent it to me but i want to get one of the originals that'd be kind of cool um if i don't get it the reproduction is fine but i i wouldn't mind getting an original who's the last one who am i missing Oh, uh, uh, Snuzzle? Snuzzle. I really want Snuzzle. She is gray with pink hair, and I don't, you don't see too many gray ponies. Like, there's, I don't think there really is any other gray pony that I know of that's an official pony that hasn't, like, faded or something like that. But anyway, so are these both from the same year? Yeah, 1982. And they're both made in Hong Kong because sometimes they're made in other countries. So that might, you know, cause a variant. But it's really interesting to see like how they've held up over the years differently because this one, she looks, well, she's dirty, but she looks like she's faded and not as vibrant. Her hair is in good condition, but it's just like not as vibrant. This one, cotton candy is very vibrant. For some reason, I thought that cotton candy was a lighter pink color as well, but I guess I, I could be wrong. But um, I'm happy that she's like a vibrant pink. That's actually a really good color for her. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the next pony. Oh, we got a baby pony. Okay, let's look at... Oh, oh, wait. Oh, my gosh, it's the Christmas one. Oh, wait, 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 where's Mary Treats? Oh, I put her, I put her away. Okay, so I got the little Christmas pony and she goes with Mary Treats. Now, I don't know, I don't think they were sold together, but I see these ponies together all the time. When people have these ponies, they usually have both of them together in the same picture. But it is the little baby Christmas pony um, from what year? For, oh, I can't see that. 1984 so they came out the same year i guess um but anyway now this pony has some baby pony accessories so it's the little necklace that looks like the little blocks with the name or the letters on it that says baby across the neck and then one of the little baby diapers the, this is so cute now this kind of goes along what I was saying earlier of like pony accessories and outfits and stuff that I'm not normally a huge fan of. Um, just because, I don't know, I just, I prefer the ponies as horses or whatever. I don't know, I, I might keep her in this because I think it's actually kind of adorable for the baby to have a diaper. Like that is so cute. And then like this little necklace, I, I don't know if I want to keep that on her. Maybe I'll put it on a different pony, like not the Christmas one. Um, but I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do with these yet. But anyway, so there's the little accessories. But this is what the pony looks like normally without without the other stuff. Oh, now she looks naked. OK, maybe I will put the, the diaper back on her. But the only th I don't like that because it covers up her cutie mark and her cutie mark is this little Christmas stocking. Like, how cute is that? Oh, see, and the thing is, I couldn't tell in when I when I bought the lot, I didn't know that she was in there because um, you couldn't see it because everything was covered by the diaper. I knew that there was a baby pony um, in there, like I saw her, but she they didn't have that like individual pictures um, of each of the ponies. They just had like a picture of the group. So um, I didn't know that that's what pony it was. Oh, she's so pretty. I'm so excited. I now I have both of the uh, the Christmas ponies from the 80s. Ah, that's so cool. All right, so I do have some, some more ponies in here. Like I said, this was the biggest uh, pony lot. So, oh, another baby pony. I found another baby pony. <gasps> oh, oh, she is so cute. Okay, I don't know what it is about the baby ponies, but I'm, I'm like really like, this is also hitting me with the nostalgia. Really like more than some of these other ponies, the baby ponies are really, really giving me a wave of nostalgia. 
Oh my gosh, she is so cute. Oh, wait, I, who, wait, who, uh, which one is this? Is this Glory? I think this, is this Glory? I think this is Glory, let me check. It is, oh my God. You know what's really funny about this? Because I literally just went to Toy Fusion last weekend and they had a baby Glory, but in the box, like the in the original box. I would love to buy that, but it's $95 and I don't really want to spend the money. <laughs> but this was just part of this lot, oh my God gosh and she's in she's dirty but she's in really good condition and I just looked it up she does come with this little necklace and the diaper she comes with like a few diapers so I wonder if these accessories belong to her or I don't know I don't know if the I I have to look at you know let me look it up real quick okay so I think that this was actually a mail order pony so I think you actually had to do the mail order system to get this one if I'm not mistaken I just did like a like two minute google search so I didn't even really get that deep into it but it looked like she came in in a plastic bag if she wasn't on a card so I'm assuming that was the um the mail order system and she didn't seem to have any accessories or anything so I believe that these are for a different pony so I'm not sure um but for Glory, I think that these are the ones that she came with. I think that the this is her little necklace and her little diaper so I might keep that on her because it's freaking adorable. Oh my gosh. I I am so obsessed with the baby ponies right now. I'm gonna have to find more. I need more. <laughs> okay, I don't know if there's more baby ponies in here. I think that there might have only just been the two. So, all right. So next up, oh, I got bow tie. Okay, I thought I had a bow tie. So I'm gonna have to check in my collection. I say my collection, it's not behind me on the shelves like it really should be. I wanna redo this and I'm definitely gonna do a pony shelf, at least one pony shelf. Um, but in the other room, I've got like the plastic storage tubs with all my ponies in it. And um, I think I might have a bow tie. Not 100% sure, but if I do, now I have two. Um, but I thought that the other bow tie that I had might have been lighter. And I remember seeing a variant. I think that there's two different variants of bow tie. I think there's one that's this, this dark intense blue. And then there's another one that's like a powder blue, like a really light blue. I could be wrong. If you happen to know, let me know in the comment section because um, I think that there are variants for bow tie as far as the coloration. Um, oh, she is so pretty. She is very dirty. She's got like stuff all over her but i i should be able to clean her up so let's keep going there's oh there's still there's still a few different um ponies in here so let's go ahead and grab the next one. Oh, okay here we go so i've got a so soft pony here this is a duplicate for me i do have another one of these um but I think the other one is not in the greatest condition. Um, this one's not in the best condition e either because there is like some rub marks. But I believe this is also, this is, oh, it's the same as this one. Okay. So it's the same character. This is the baby version with the Betty by eyes. And um, this is the adult version. I don't think that they had a version of this pony that was not flocked. Like I think, I don't think that they had a non Betty by Eye or a non so soft version of this pony. I could be wrong, but I think that like all the ponies were, that the adult ones were um, so soft ponies and all of the baby ponies were Betty by Eye. No, that's not true. I think in um, other countries, they had a normal version of this baby pony that was not a Betty by Eye version. Um, I think it's just in America, she was only released like this. Um, but anyway, so now I have two of this of this particular so soft pony um, and I know that some people are very hardcore like do not customize the so soft ponies leave them flocked blah 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 but now I have two of this pony and I've looked it up before and they're not hard to come by um, like they're out there and you can get them for a pretty decent price pretty easily so I'm gonna put these together and whichever one is in a better condition I will probably keep and it might be that one because that one I've actually that was actually um, from my childhood. I think my it belonged to my cousin and she gave it to me. So I think I'm going to keep that one flocked. And I think this one I'm going to deflock. 
That will be my first time ever deflocking a So Soft pony. And the only reason I'm doing it is because I have two of them and I've always wanted to have this pony without the flocking. Um, so I'm actually really excited to deflock this one, especially because the hair is in decent condition. It needs to be de detangled a little bit, but it's actually in really good condition. Um, but as you can see from the, this pony, the coloration is so beautiful. Like the, this color for the pony, this color combination is so interesting to me because there's no pink, there's no purple. It's just this really beautiful like teal blue color and neon yellow with orange for the hair. I love this color combination and I would love to have this pony deflocked so you can actually see it because the flocking is always white and it always looks so much lighter but when you deflock it you'll see that the color is so vibrant underneath okay let's go ahead there's still how many ponies are in here one two three four five there is five more ponies in here okay let's take out another baby one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's another one. Okay. Yeah. So this is the one that I knew I was getting because I think it was in this one. And this one was legitimately a, um, a bonus pony. So or in that other lot, two different sellers, two different lots. But now I have not only two of the so soft versions of this pony, which I still don't know the name. I think it's like, like I said, I think it's ribbon or something like that. Um, but two, now I have two of the so soft ponies and I have two of the Betty by eye ponies. <laughs> um, all her hair. Okay. So I could probably fix the hair. That's probably not going to be an issue. Her eye, let's see her, are her eyes working? Yeah. So this one, she has uh, both of her eyes and they both seem to work. So I think this one I will clean up and keep her as a Betty by Eye Pony. I'll have to fix her hair because it's a little wild at the moment. Um, this one, her hair is in a slightly better condition, but this eye is missing. So, <laughs> so I might customize this one. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do just yet, but I've got two of them now. <laughs> you know what? I'm starting to not hate the Betty by Eye Ponies. They're cute in their own way. They they have their their faces are very like they're kind of like that borderline uncanny valley like creepy feature. But having them in person, they're not bad. They're just like awkward. They just look sleepy. <laughs> I just the inset eyes. I'm not a fan of. But um, I don't. I'm not mad that I have them, and I wouldn't mind getting some others if I ended up getting some more Betty by Eye ponies. I'd be okay with it. They're usually relatively inexpensive online because not a lot of people like them anyway. <gasps> Is this a sea pony? Oh, I think I have a sea pony. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So the sea ponies are some of my favorite, um, just because the uh, seahorse is actually my favorite animal. Uh, and that's why I call my followers the seahorse army, which I keep forgetting to say in all my videos. By the way, if you want to join the seahorse army, don't forget to subscribe. Um, but anyway, so I love the sea ponies. They are just, for some reason, a little bit more expensive to find online. So the fact that this was in this lot, I am so happy. Um, I don't know if I have this one. I have have a baby sea pony that is similar to this one, but I don't know if it's the same one or if this is a double. If it's a double, I'll probably customize it just like I say with all of them. But I don't think this is. I think the other one that I have is blue. This one's green. But then again, she's also dirty and kind of faded, so it might just be the color, whatever. I'll have to check and see. But if any sea ponies that I can get my hands on, I want, even if I don't care if they're doubles or not. Um, and I'm so excited. I love the baby sea ponies. These are ones that I had not, I, I don't think that I had this one. I think the one I had was like a red color uh, or a pink color. And then there was another one I had that was like a purple. And then I had, uh, she's back there. I don't know how well you can see her, but there's one standing on the shell right there. The pink one with the blue hair. Um, I had one of those when I was a kid. That's not the same one. This one I got later on from eBay. But um, the I, I had one adult sea pony and I had two baby sea ponies when I was a kid. And I loved them. I took them in the pool and when we went swimming, they were like my favorite ponies and I want to collect all of the sea ponies. Um, and I think that the sea ponies are probably the reason that seahorses are my favorite animal, if I'm being honest. Uh, maybe this is the same pony that I, that I have. The other one that I have is blue, and maybe this started off blue, but now it's green because it yellowed. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm, I'm so excited to have the baby sea pony. I forgot how tiny they are. They're so cute. Okay. Let's see. What else do we have in here? 
Oh, <laughs> for a second, I thought that it was another one of these, uh, the, the birthday ponies, uh, or what I've been calling birthday ponies. I don't know if that's what they are or not. Um, but this is not, this is actually, is it Sundance? Sunday, is that her name? I don't remember her name. This is the pony that uh, a lot of times you were able to get with uh, the Megan doll. So in the My Little Pony line, to my understanding, there was only one character they ever did that was a human, and they did an actual doll, and it was Megan, which was the character from the cartoon. And um, Megan would come with a pony, and it was always this pony uh, for some reason. I don't know. I'm just now looking at this, and I have an abundance of white ponies. Is that like how I, I'm gonna have to go look and look at the the My Little Wiki or like Strawberry Reef or something like that and check because like there's a lot of white ponies, and I don't know if it's just because the lots I had it was a coincidence and I happened to get a lot of white ponies, or if they really was a lot of white ponies that were made. Because um, I usually prefer the ones that are like more interesting colors. Um, like these like those are those are the ones i tend to gravitate more towards um just because it's in you know they're they're more bright colors that i really like but yeah i i'm kind of surprised they don't have this pony actually because this pony is so common i see this pony everywhere uh so i don't know if once again i don't know if she actually is very common or if it's a coincidence that i happen to see her everywhere but i'm surprised i never had her so now i do all right so i think we're coming down to our last couple ponies now yeah, there's two more ponies. Oh, this one's a baby pony. Oh, it's baby surprise. Oh my gosh. I love the neon hair. This is like my favorite uh, favorite feature of this pony, like my favorite color for the pony hair, I think, or uh, one of my favorite colors for the pony hair. But baby surprise. Okay, so um, once again, the surprise that I have is not original. This is a reproduction, but I just want to show you side by side. So you've got the adult one and then you've got the baby one. And to my understanding, they were never really sold together. I think they were sold separately. And this was supposed to be the baby and this is supposed to be the mom. So it's not like the, the baby version of surprise. I think it's surprise's baby, which is called baby surprise. Anyway, <laughs> but she is so adorable. <laughs> I am so happy to have so many little, the baby ponies. Oh my gosh, hold on, where are they? These ones, oh my gosh, and then I've got these ones now. I'm, I'm loving the baby ponies so much right now. I'm gonna go back on eBay and see if I can get a lot of just like the baby ponies because they're just so cute. Did I miss any? I don't know. Anyway, there's, I, I, I'm gonna have to take a picture at the end of this just so you can see how many ponies I have laying in front of me all in, all, all at once. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so I've got Baby Surprise and she also has a little uh, necklace here, the little Baby Blocks uh, necklace. Once again, I don't know if it's hers or if this was another ponies and whoever owned this just happened to put it on her. What I might try and do is figure out how I can identify these things uh, just so I can see which pony they actually went to. Um, I think you can go on my little wiki or something maybe and they might have like the the different accessories and the different colors because they have like already you can see like this one's purple and this one's pink um, and the other one was white. So they're the exact same thing just in different colors. So um, based off the color, I might be able to identify which pony they came with. All right, I think we're getting down to the end here. Yep, th this is our, wait, is there only one? Yep, this is our last, last pony here. Oh, it's a bright one. Oh, it's a, it's a twinkle eye pony. Oh, she's gross. <laughs> she is definitely needing to be cleaned. She is sticky. Oh, 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 okay. I don't know if there's something on her or if the plastic is just like, the plasticizer is leaking or something. She is kind of, she's less squishy. She's a little harder. So it might be that the plastic is doing that thing that some of some toys from the eighties do where the, pl the plasticizer kind of leaks out and then the pony gets a little harder. Um, but right, she just feels oily. Um, so I'm definitely going to have to, I have, Whenever I do these kind of videos for my eBay things or if I go to like thrift stores, I always have my disinfectant hand sanitizer, my wet ones, you know, stuff like that to clean my hands on out. Let's clean my hands off afterwards uh, just because these are all secondhand and they're all going to be really gross. Uh, this one is probably the worst uh, as far as like dirtiness because she's sticky and dirty, but I should be able to clean her up. I do not know 
what pony this is. I know she is a Twinkle Eye Pony, and I love the Twinkle Eye Ponies. They are some of my favorite ponies, mainly because of Mimic and Tic-Tac-Toe and Fizzy. Uh, so I love the Twinkle Eye Ponies, and I love having them next to each other. I do not know the name of this pony, but I love her colors. I think she is so pretty. Very interesting color combination for this pony to me. And her, her cutie mark is the Big Dipper. So that's really cute. I'm gonna have to find out who this pony is and uh, see if I can find the name and everything. Okay. I, <laughs> speaking of which, I'm having to clean off my hands because it's like, like I don't know if it's OCD or what, but it's like I can't continue or I can't think until I clean my hands real quick. That's probably my least favorite part of thrifting or doing these kind of videos where I open a bunch of secondhand items because I know that they need to be cleaned and a lot of them have dirt on them or other stuff. Um, because they're, they're secondhand. A lot of the sellers, they are selling used items that they just, maybe they found in their closet or in storage or something, and they're just like, hey, let's put it in a box and sell it on eBay, you know, uh, and they don't necessarily clean them first. So I, I just assume that all of them are dirty. Uh, some of them are very obvious, you know, like when you look at the, you could see the dirt on them or feel it in this case. Um, but yeah, that that's my least favorite part is dealing with that. My favorite part though is when I get to clean them up and that's what I'm going to be doing. So I now have a giant collection of ponies that need to be cleaned up along with several other ones that are not in this video. You've probably seen them in previous videos uh, that I've collected. I've just been like accumulating vintage My Little Ponies and I'm going to start making pony restoration videos um, because I want to do some just fun little videos. They're probably not going to be super long and I'm probably not going to do batches of them like I've done in the past because those end up taking much longer than I expect them to. I think I'm just going to do like keep it to like maybe one pony at a time unless if like there's a group that don't need a lot and I'm just cleaning them up then I might do like, like that. But like for example for Majesty here or which uh, where's the other one? So I think because of, yeah I think because of the paint and the symbol like this one's in better condition so I'm going to rehair her but also clean her up and and try and get rid of the pink marks if I can uh, and stuff like that or like for this one which once again I don't remember the this one's name. <laughs> I, I lost it. Is it Moon Dancer? I don't remember. Anyway, but for this one, she very much needs to be retrobrighted. A, a few of these ponies need to be retrobrighted. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start uh, making videos like that. So they'll probably be a little shorter than my normal videos, or who knows? With my editing style, they'll probably still end up being really long. I don't know. But now I have a big collection of My Little Ponies that I can start cleaning up. And I actually really enjoy that process <laughs> for My Little Ponies, at least, because uh, they're not articulated or anything. They don't have outfits you have to worry about. You can really just clean them up. If you need to rehair them, you can for any of who, who was it over here. Um, you know, Masquerade needs a new tail, stuff like that. And now I have a couple doubles for, for some of these characters. So I might even do some custom ponies. Um, so I'm actually looking forward to those kind of videos. So if that's something you're interested in, you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. You've already made it towards the to the end of this video. Uh, so now would be a good time to subscribe if you're not, if you haven't already hit that button. Speaking of which, I just wanted to quickly show you what I'm looking at here. <laughs> so this is my pony haul. <laughs> there is so many ponies in front. These, these are ones I've already had, but from here over all of these, all of these are the new ponies that I got in these new, that's also, uh, that's the reproduction um, surprise over there, but oh, they're falling. Okay, well, anyway, but the, <laughs> this is my haul. There's so many ponies here. Oh, of course, and then of course the Barbie. Anyway, so that is it. That brings us to the end of this giant haul of eBay ponies. Um, you know, that was, I think, what was it? Like four pony lots and one individual pony. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I almost forgot. I put her down here because she's in her bag. Um, can't forget Mary Treats. She was one of the ones I was most anticipating because I bought her specifically. So and now I have the two Christmas ponies. Ah! Even though it's it's before Christmas for me, like I said, but by the time you see this, Christmas will be over, but that's okay. Um, I'm so excited to have these two Christmas ponies before Christmas, uh, so I'm probably gonna have to clean these ones up first, maybe. I don't know, maybe I'll save them for next Christmas or so. <laughs> I don't know if I wanna wait that long. Anyway, okay, I gotta get going because my battery's about to die on my camera. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I know this is probably a little bit longer of a video just because there were so many ponies to go through, but 
if you know any of the information, like identifying any of the ponies that I didn't know in this video, or if you have any little fun facts about any of the particular uh, ponies, like maybe if there was one that you remember having when you were a kid or something like that, let me know down in the comments below or if any of these were your favorite pony when you were younger or even now. Um, but I'm gonna get going because like I said, it's still before Christmas as uh, of me recording this, and I still have to wrap my presents for everybody. I haven't done any wrapping. I am so behind the game. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve, so I want to get it done today so I can just relax tomorrow. Anyway, okay, I'm going to get going, but thank you so much for watching, and I hope I see you next time. Bye! If you like this video, you can let me know by hitting thumbs up. You can check out some of my other videos by clicking one of the links on the screen. I post new videos every week, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified every time I upload. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.